What's going on, Swim fans? Welcome back to Whiteboard Wednesday, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the truth about swimming in an endless pool product. Now, you've probably seen some videos online of people swimming in what seems to be this endless current of water, either in their backyard or inside their own house. Now, these are the endless pool products, and believe me, I've tried these, and they're pretty darn cool. They not only look cool, but they're also a great workout. But in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the biggest myths that people have about swimming in these endless pool products. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Ferris, I'm the co-founder and CEO of my Swim Pro, and here on the channel, we help you take your swimming to the next level. So if you wanna swim faster and smarter than ever before, make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, and let me know down below in the comments what you guys think and if you've ever swum in one of these pools. Before we get into it, I want to thank Endless Pools for sponsoring this video. I've personally had the opportunity to swim in multiple Endless Pools products, including the Elite model, which can simulate a blazing 51 seconds per 100 yards. So I speak from personal experience when I say that swimming in an Endless Pool product is unlike anything else you'll ever do. Now I know a lot of people dream of being able to train in their backyard, and Endless Pools can make that a reality. So whether you're training for a swim meet or an open water race or even a triathlon, these pools are a great way to supplement your training or even completely replace swimming in a traditional lap pool. You can also use them for aqua therapy or just relaxing. Here's how it works. The Endless Pools counter current technology means that you can actually swim without flip turns for as long as you want. You just set the desired pace and swim in place against the current. It's actually really easy and pretty cool. Now, endless pool products can be installed inside or outside, and you can customize them to fit your lifestyle and your fitness goals. Keep in mind, there's a few different models, and like I mentioned, the fastest goes all the way down to 51 seconds per 100. That's absolutely blazing. There's even a dual propulsion pool that has enough space for you to swim side by side with a swim buddy. Head over to the link in the description below to learn more about Endless Pools and request a free inspiration guide. Now this is something you definitely wanna take a look at and learn more about. Thanks again to Endless Pools and let's get back into the video. Now there are six myths that I wanna talk about, including a bonus at the end on top of that, but those are that you can only swim freestyle in an endless pool. Now, this is absolutely false. In any of the endless pool products, you can swim all of the strokes, and believe me, I've done it, and it's really, really simple. In some cases, it's even easier to swim in one of these endless pool products than in an actual pool. You can do butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, and freestyle. You can also do kicking. You can use a kickboard. You can use equipment. I love swimming with a snorkel. You just focus on putting your eyes on the bottom. If you have a mirror on the bottom, that's actually pretty cool. You can see your technique, which is really, really neat. And if you have a snorkel, you don't have to worry about anything. Just like the world just disappears and you can focus on swimming all of your strokes with proper form. And like I mentioned, you can use equipment, whether it's fins, paddles, you can alternate any of these things. And really the idea is that you can swim anything, not just freestyle. So if you really wanna improve your technique and all these different things, you can absolutely do that in an endless pool product. And in some cases, I believe, even better than in an actual swimming pool that's 25 or 50 meters. So myth number two is that you have to swim slow or at a, a certain pace. And this couldn't be further from the truth. You can actually set variable speeds really, really easy. And there's actually a remote, there's also an iPad, iPhone app, and it's pretty easy to customize your speed by the second per 100. So if you're not familiar with your speed per 100, you can actually figure that out pretty quickly when you swim in one of these endless pool products. And like I mentioned, the fastest pool can go all the way down to 51 seconds per 100 yards of swimming. Keep in mind, that's without the assistance of flip turns. So this is actually a little bit faster than you think it is, maybe down to like 47, 48 pace per 100, if you got rid of the crazy underwaters that swimmers have at that speed. So the myth that you're gonna swim slow or at a certain slower speed is absolutely not the case, not the case at all. You can swim at three minutes per 100, you can swim at two minutes and 29 seconds per 100, one minute and 37 seconds per 100, and you can vary it and you can do that all within the application and with a simple remote controller. So definitely a lot of speeds that you can play with in an endless pool product. Now myth number three is that it's not really a great workout. If you want a good workout, you gotta go to the pool gotta go to the gym. 
Not the case. If you have an endless pool product in your backyard, you can actually get the whole workout. I know tons of swimmers who only train in an endless pool product. Regardless of the model that they have, this is the only way they swim. They don't bother going to a pool, uh, you know, a 25 meter or 50 meter pool. They do it all in their backyard or in their house or in their basement, wherever they have it set up. And in some ways, it's actually a better workout than what you get in the pool for a number of the reasons some of which we already talked about. So the first one is that you don't have any distractions. And I think for some people, depending on what your routine is like, if you go to the pool, maybe it takes you a lot of time, you know, maybe it takes you a while to get in the water. This is right in your backyard, right, right inside your house or on the pool deck of a, of a facility that you already go to. And so it's a lot easier to just swim in your own zone and not be distracted. And that's huge for some people. Also, you can adjust the speed. It's very easy to have this, this variable uh, variation. And like I said, from 51 seconds all the way up to three, four minutes per 100. And you can also do all the strokes. You can use equipment. We talked about this. So you can actually get a better workout because you can control your speed in different strokes with different pieces of equipment. And you can do that for units of time rather than having to swim an entire length of the pool. So if you're in a 25 or 50 meter pool, you're actually trapped because you have to swim to the other end. It's really difficult to just stop swimming in the middle. If you can't do butterfly that long, you can try a few strokes at a certain pace. And as you build endurance, you can increase the amount of time and speed that you're doing that specific stroke, skill, or drill, or anything like that. You can focus on technique at different speeds, and you can go fast to focus on power. So absolutely the myth that you're going to not get a great workout in, not true at all. Now, myth number four is that it's boring. And as you can tell by the excitement that I have of talking about this, it's a ton of fun. This is like one of the coolest things that you can do, and it doesn't get old. Now, I've, I've swum in an endless pool product multiple times, and every time it feels like the first time I've ever been in one of these. It's, it's really, really fun. And the reason why I think it's fun is because you're sort of in your own world. When you go to the pool or even in open water, you're, you're in a vast sea of, of, of H2O. And when you're in one of these, you, you sort of feel like you're in your own, your own bubble and no one can distract you. You kind of have your own thing going on and you feel that you are in control. The ocean is not in control. You are in control when you're in an endless pool product. You can mix up interval strokes. You can add toys like equipment, fins, paddles, snorkel, kickboard, anything you can think of, you can, you can probably use it. And you can also use the My Swim Pro app to create a custom time-based workout right there on your wrist. So if you wanna do that, you can also customize the My Swim Pro app for that as well. If you guys wanna learn more about that, make sure you check it out, link down below in the description. My Swim Pro app available for iOS and Android, training programs, videos, analytics, all that good stuff right there. Now, myth number five is that it feels a lot different from swimming in an actual pool. If you've done open water swimming, if you swim in a hot pool, cold pool, you know that there's all these different variables that can actually change the way that you feel in the water. And what happens is when you swim in an endless pool, it's probably 98, 99% the same. Swimming is swimming. You're moving forward at some pace. Even if it's not 51 seconds per 100, maybe it's one minute and 30 seconds per 100. Maybe it's two minutes and 30 seconds per 100. It doesn't really matter, but 99% of it is the same. Now, what is a little bit different is obviously when you push off the wall in a pool, that's gonna be different. You've got flip turns. You're not gonna be diving into this thing. But the swimming part is almost identical. If anything, I'd say in some ways, it actually feels better to swim in an endless pool product because you can really focus on your technique because the way the current is actually coming out the side of this product, it actually allows you to really get into an early vertical form even easier. That means your fingertips can drive down to the bottom of the pool and you can catch the water with your forearm a lot more, a lot simpler than if you were in a normal pool. You can feel it a little bit easier. And because you have this consistency and you can swim 50 strokes in a row, 100 strokes in a row uninterrupted, which you can't do even in a 50 meter pool, it can actually make you feel better when you go into a swimming pool. I've done this before myself at Masters Nationals a few years ago. I actually swam in one of the endless pool products at the University of Minnesota, I remember this, and I swam the 50 meter freestyle either the day after or right after it, 
and I felt amazing. It was like the most pop I've ever had <laughs> in a 50 freestyle long course. And I credit a lot of it because I had a fantastic warm-up in one of these pools. Now, I know that's difficult. You're not going to be able to, you know, hop in one of these at your own command. But if you have one in your backyard, you probably can. So it definitely feels very similar. And it also allows you to focus on head position. That's another thing with Technique. When you have one of these products, you don't have to look at for the wall, right? You just look down. You can close your eyes. You can look at the mirror. You can watch yourself. You can film yourself with a GoPro pretty easily. And it allows you to develop that feel. So if you do want to transfer it to the open water, to a swimming pool, you have the opportunity to do so. Now, myth number six is that amateurs are the only people who are using this product. Or, you know, you think you're a, you're a better swimmer and you don't need that. That's, that's for people who are slow or they don't know what they're doing. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Regardless of your skill, your speed level, the Endless Pool products are actually designed for like everyone. And it's hard to say this for a lot of different pool and swimming related equipment and technology. Some technology truly is for elite swimmers. For example, if you think about generating power and swimming with a power tower, right? This is something that you need to be at a pool at and it's definitely for a more advanced swimmer. The Endless Pool product on the other hand, you can be a beginner or you know, maybe someone who's not, not as speedy and you swim you know, three and a half minutes per 100, you wanna do some aqua jogging or something like that, perfect. That's exactly what it's for. Let's say you're an elite swimmer, you're competing at the NCAA level or world-class level and you wanna swim breaststroke at a minute pace per 100 and you wanna focus on your technique and your catch and you wanna do you know, two minutes straight swimming, which you can't do because of pullouts and walls, the Endless Pool product can allow you to do that. And if you go to any of the top universities in the United States, a lot of them have the elite model of the Endless Pool product right there on the pool deck. And that just goes to show that it's not only for amateurs, the best swimmers in the world are also using this for good reason, for a lot of the reasons that we actually talked about over the last five and 10 minutes. Now I do have a bonus for you guys, a bonus myth here, it's that it's more affordable than you think. A lot of people think that it's unattainable, you know, the best universities in the world, people with mega mansions have these things, and you'd be surprised. So if you're interested in learning more about these Endless Pool products, make sure you check out that link down below in the description. You can get that free inspiration guide. And you can actually, actually learn more about what it takes to get one of these in your house or in your backyard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you let me know down below in the comments if you've ever swum in one of these Endless Pool products. And let us know what kind of content you want to see next. I wish you guys the very best. Happy swimming and have a great day. Peace.